All right, what is the change in GPE, gravitational potential energy, for a five kilogram object, which is raised from the floor to an initial to a final height of two meters? So in this problem, we're going to move a five kilogram object to a final height of two meters. So we know a couple things. There, was, there's one more thing that we know. The mass of the object is five kgs. And the, we'll just say the change in height is two meters. And also, since this guy is on planet Earth, we know that there is gravity. And that's 9.8 meters per second squared. So when we are computing the GPE or the change in GPE, so I'll write that change in GPE. We know that that is equivalent to the product of mass, gravity, and change in height. So we'll sub in the numbers. Change in GPE is equal to the mass, 5 kgs, times gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, times the change in height, and that is 2 meters. So we can approximate the answer. We'll reveal the tab and get a better answer. Uh, when we do this, we get 5 times about 10. That's 50 times 2. The change in gravitational potential energy is about, again, 5 times 10 is about 50 times 2 is, is about 100 kilogram meter squared per second squared. And that would be equivalent to about 100 joules. If we're more precise in our computation, taking into consideration 9.8 instead of 10, we get 98 joules. So the change in gravitational potential energy is about 98 joules. If you lift it up in the air, you did 98 joules of work on this barbell. If it falls to the ground, since what goes up must come down, if you do 98 joules to lift it up, gravity will do 98 joules of work as it falls to the ground. Look out. Stay out of the way. You wouldn't want that barbell hitting you. Be careful now.